Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I have a small PR haul to share with you guys. All of these companies have reached out to me and just wanted to see if I wanted to try these items and I accepted. The one uh, exception is Influencer, so I do have a product from Influencer I wanted to share with you guys. So we'll start with that. So I have this right here. This is the Influencer Ever Pure Sulfate Free Hair Care Set. So it's a brass toting purple hair care set. So if you guys have blonde hair, you know the struggle with keeping it blonde kind of ashy toned versus looking more yellow. So this is a product that's supposed to help that. So this is a drugstore brand shampoo and conditioner. So I have already tried this out once. I didn't try it today. So if my hair does look a little bit yellow, I didn't try it today. But what you do with this, you're supposed to use it between two to three times a week. And it's a shampoo and conditioner set. And it's very, very purple. It's almost violet colored. So it definitely does help to tone the brassiness out of your hair. So if you have blonde hair, if you have gray hair, whichever it is, it's going to help to tone that brassiness out of your hair. So I really love any kind of purple shampoo. This one here smells nice. I like that it's a squeezy tube. So, so far, I really enjoyed this. I haven't had any issues with it. It did make my hair the one time that I did try it. It did make my hair look a little bit dry looking and I don't know if that's typical for this brand for it to dry your hair out because I've tried other things from the L'Oreal brand and it didn't dry my hair out so I'm a little confused but I do know like purple shampoos can like almost dry your hair out a little bit because of the it's almost like a dying process honestly for your hair because if you leave the purple shampoo in too long your hair will get like purple tinted so don't leave it in for a super long amount of time I typically leave mine in for probably about five minutes though so I'm not gonna lie and sometimes I have turned my hair a little bit blue tinged, but not with this brand. I haven't yet so far. So, so far, so good for this one. It smells nice. It definitely does help to tone the brassiness out of my hair. So I'm enjoying it. So that is the first item I want to share with you guys. The next one is an actual toothbrush. So this is by the brand Gobi. So Gobi is a brand that has come out with toothbrushes and I was like, kind of intrigued when they like contacted me and wanted to see if I wanted to try out their toothbrush because you guys know I recently switched to an electric toothbrush because my dentist was telling me that my gums were starting to recede and the reason why they were receding is because I, I honestly brush my teeth too hard so therefore if you use an electric toothbrush you're supposed to not really push any pressure to it you're supposed to let the brush do all the work so that's why I switched to an electric toothbrush but this one is really nice. I like that it comes with this little cap here. So if you're traveling with it, it's hard to remove though. I will say that. What I typically do is I just twist it until it like pops open. Sometimes. There it goes. Once it pops open, and then you've got your brush here. They do have like a membership where you can sign up through the recite and you can get the different heads sent to you each 60 days every 60 days I'm pretty sure is how long they do it it will come in a nice blue box like this the box how they sent it was really nice as well so it comes very neatly packaged when you get it so it comes like this it says get your buzz on and then the top part is just protecting your toothbrush that's down inside of here and then down inside of here is going to be your cord for charging it as well as your replacement head so everything's going to be neatly boxed up inside of here which I really appreciate so I really like the way that this came packaged. I don't know that this is any better, honestly, than the toothbrush that I'm using, but the tooth toothbrush that I'm using was like a $120 toothbrush, so this one's a lot more affordable, so I can say that. So if you're looking at like value-wise, this one's definitely more affordable. I do like that they send you the heads every 60 days, so that way there, if you are someone who's like me and you're really forgetful about replacing your toothbrush every, I think it's every 60 days, or maybe it's every six months. I'm not sure what the time frame is. I'll put it in the description box below for you guys, because I can't remember exactly what the time frame is. And I know it's not listed on this here anywhere, so no. No, it's not listed. I'm like, maybe it is. No, it's not. So it does the typical things that my other toothbrush does, though. It'll pause to let you know that to switch to a different section. And then after it runs for a certain amount of time, it'll stop completely because you're done brushing your teeth after it's done paused and switched to all the different sections of your mouth. I like it. I like the color. They do have other colors as well available at their website. They have, like, black. And I think they had like a gold one, I'm pretty sure. But either way, I think it's cool. But I mean, it's up to you guys. If you are looking for an electric toothbrush, then this to me is pretty good, especially considering that I paid so much more for the one that I currently use in my bathroom. So using this one did not change anything the way that it works in my mouth. The only thing that I will say is with the one that I currently use in my bathroom, it has like a little light feature at the bottom. So it'll turn red to let you know if you're putting too much pressure on your teeth. This one doesn't have that feature. So that's the one feature I think that 
I kind of like about my toothbrush and my toothbrush actually connects to your phone to let you know like if you've brushed well which is really unique so it's cool I am excited about trying out electric toothbrushes because it's something new that I hadn't really ventured into until recently when I bought mine. The next and last thing that I wanted to share with you guys is this item right here. So this is the Solid Beauty Concepts. It's a nail polish organizer. So you're supposed to be able to hold 48 nail polishes. I'm going to insert a video here. All right, guys, we're going to try this nail polish organizer out from Solid. This is the Beauty Concepts little organizer. It's supposed to hold 48 polishes. So we're going to see what kind of polishes we can fit in here. So right here is the container itself. It's a pretty big size, honestly. I don't know what the actual dimensions are to it. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and figure out what we can put in here. So we're going to pop it open on this side here. And I'm going to go through my nail polish rack. I'll show you the rack quick. So this is the nail polish rack we're gonna go through. So we have tons of polishes here. We have all different brands. We're gonna see what brands will fit into the polish organizer and go from there. So let's see what we can get to fit. So that way there we know if you have a certain brand and you wanna know if that'll fit, we're gonna find out real quick. So let's see, let's start off with, um, let's start off with Sally Hansen. So I think everybody has a Sally Hansen nail polish. So this is the first one we're going to put into the organizer and it fits perfectly. So there's no problem at all with that one. So that one fit perfectly with a little extra room. I have this polish here. You guys may or may not have know what this brand is. This is like a beach exclusive brand. It's called Del Sol. So it's a color changing polish. So we're going to see if this one will fit also. Perfect. Then we have OPI, another brand that we all probably have at least one or two polishes of. So this one here is actually the brand OPI and it's called You Pink Too Much. So if you guys are interested in this color, I think this was like a Miss Piggy collection. So if it's the next brand I want to try is Nails Inc. This is like my current favorite brand. I love this brand. They sell it at Sephora. So this color in, part in particular is Dream Dust. So we're going to see if it'll fit. This is one that, uh, yep, it fits. I was a little worried about that one because it looks a little wide, so I wasn't sure if it was gonna fit this way. Let's see if it'll fit the other way as well. Let's see if it'll close. It does. So it would close either way if you put it in either way. It would fit either way. Um, then let's try Julep, another brand. Unfortunately, I think Julep is actually going out of business. So if you have any Julep polishes that you're trying to find an organizer for, we're going to see if these will fit. I think you could probably put, let's see, two, you could probably put four Julep polishes. Let me see if I have any more Julep polishes so we can see if we can fit more in there. I have one here and, oh, I can't get that one out, it's stuck. And then one here. So we have two more. I don't know what colors these are. Let's see. This is Julep. It doesn't really matter. I guess since Julep is going out of business, it doesn't really matter what color they are. But just in case you have some Julep polishes, look, you can fit four Julep polishes stacked on there. That's pretty amazing in my opinion. So if you did four of those, you had a ton of Julep polishes. This would be a great organizer for you because you'd be able to fit a ton of them in there. All right, let's see. Here's another brand. I think I've purchased most of this brand through like Ipsy deals and stuff. This is the Koki brand. It needs to be shaken up. Um, this is a one step and it's in the shade Incognito. So it's pretty round. I'm not sure it'll fit. And it does. Perfect. So as you can tell, it went in there with some room to grow. I'm not sure your polish will grow, but if it does, then we have the Julie. This is the Julie G Nails. I think Julie G is actually a YouTuber, so we're going to see if this will fit. I kind of figured that one would. I didn't really have much doubt about that brand. Uh, let's see. What else do we need to try? Here's another Sally Hansen. So Sally Hansen has a several different types of bottles of polishes. So you can get this one here, which is like the Insta, Insta Dry Formula, or you can get this one, which is the, this is the Complete Manicure. So we'll try that one because it's a little thicker. And it fits perfectly awesome all right the next one we're gonna look at let's see we've done OPI we'll do Zoya Zoya I would assume would fit that's my opinion I think it's going to fit no problem yeah no problem whatsoever for that one let me see what else we have here I'm just spinning the rack around Morgan Taylor Morgan De Morgan Taylor is a brand that I just recently found at Ulta so we'll try that to see if it fits uh, it looks like it's sticking up some. Let's see. Nope, it's not. So, perfect. 
it fits great. That's awesome. I can't believe all the polishes we're getting to fit. Okay, so Essence. Essence is, of course, another brand that you can purchase at Ulta. This is, what is this color? Intergalactic Adventure. So, yeah, that one fits well. I don't think you could fit two in there because I think you would have a hard time. And I'm not sure if I have another Essence one. Let me see if I have another Essence one. If I do, then we'll try to see if we can fit two in there. Hmm. Maybe I don't. I don't see another Essence one. Oh, I do, actually. That's a lie. I have this one right here. This is another Essence one. So we'll see. Will they fit like two in there? So like if you're trying to get them in there, let's see. Would it close? That's crazy. I did not think that would fit. Honestly, I thought for sure that was not going to work, but it did. Pretty awesome. Okay, so now let's go for, let's see. What else do I have on this little rack here? Um, this one. Okay, this is one that I don't know if it's going to fit or not because this is really wide. This is a Marc Jacobs polish. I purchased this one, I think, at like TJ Maxx or something. So this is the the shade 164 Ipsy and Patsy Enamored. So, so it doesn't fit straight down in there, but it'll fit like that. But it's sticking out really far. So uh, let's see what happens when you close it. Holy smokes, guys. It closed. That's crazy. You're, I don't think there's any polish in my collection that's not going to fit in this, honestly. Because that, I think, is my biggest polish that I, I currently own. So, I am very impressed. I don't think I have any other brands on here that are different. Oh, wait, Pacifica. We have a Pacifica brand, which I'm pretty sure this is going to fit. I don't think we're going to have any problem there. Nope. So, that one fit perfectly. So, again, I think you're going to be able to fit pretty much any kind of brand that you're thinking of that you might own in your collection. They should all fit in here nice and neatly. So, I, in my opinion, this is a great case. If you're looking for something to put all your nail polishes in, I think it's going to work great. So, you can hold a ton in there. It's probably is actually going to hold more than my actual little organizer thing that I have here. So, it's probably going to hold more than that because I feel like you're able to double up here, whereas on my rack, I cannot double up. So, this would be really great for your polishes or if you're someone you put all of your top coats and your base coats and things like that separately this would be really great for that as well speaking of those let's grab a couple of those Oops. so i have them in a separate drawer which is probably what i'm going to end up storing in this so we have a better london i think this is just a top coat actually no it says horsepower nail fertilizer what the world I don't even know what this is. I've never even tried that, I don't think. So that's interesting. It fits. So you can put your top coats and your base coats in there as well. So because most of the ones... Oh, here's another one though. This is a OPI by Nicole. This is really odd shaped. So let's see if that'll fit. Yeah, no problems. No problems whatsoever. And it's going to close. Okay, I think we can definitely say this case is going to hold a ton of polishes. It says that it holds 48 in here. So it says it's heavy duty plastic construction. Uh, I don't know. I think this is pretty cool. I will see if they have a discount code for you guys. So if you're interested in getting this, you can purchase this off of Amazon. I think it's like right around 20 bucks, which is a great deal for as many polishes as what this can hold. So I will put a link below for you guys if I can find a discount. And not only that, just a link so you can purchase it if you're interested. So now that you've seen the video, you can talk, I can talk to you guys about how this works after I've tried, I tried it out and everything and I was really impressed by all the polishes it holds. So I really like the way it holds 48 plus to, uh, fingernail polishes because if you're using the Julep polishes, you saw that I was able to stack four of those into each section. So in, since it already has 48 sections, you know you could hold a ton of Julep polishes in here. So that's really cool in my opinion. So this is a really cool container. This can be found on Amazon if you guys are interested in I do believe they have a discount code or something for you guys I'm going to contact them and find out all the information and all that information will be in the description box below for you guys if you're interested in getting one for yourself but I think it's really nice it kind of reminds me of like the matchbox containers do you guys remember those that's what it reminds me a little just let that hit myself with it it reminds me of the matchbox car containers that we used to, oh I used to buy from both of my boys to put their little matchbox cars in it's kind of what it reminds me of so but it's cool that it holds all of the different kinds of nail polishes including the Julep like I said it holds four of those the Marc Jacobs one I was 
did not think that it was going to hold that for sure because it's so round or so oblong looking so I was very hesitant that I was like I don't know if I should try this because it's probably not going to hold it but I was like you know what let's give it a shot let's see what it'll hold and it held it I couldn't believe it so I'm really impressed with this little container here and it seems like it's going to be a great one for organizing polishes for me so I think I'm probably going to end up organizing maybe my clear coats and top coats and things like that in it but I'm not sure what I'm going to put in it yet but I do know that I appreciate it because as you guys can tell I do like polishes so anyway that is everything that is in this PR haul for you guys for today I was just really excited to share some of these items with you guys I will let you know in a future video probably in empties if these ended up making my hair really dry or anything and of course I'll keep you updated on the Gobi toothbrush so if there's any discount codes for you guys for any of these products, I will list it in the description box below for you. But other than that, that is it. I'd love to know what your thoughts and your opinions are on if you've tried anything like these products that I have here or what you think of the nail polish organizer. Were you as surprised as I was about getting the different ones in there? I was really surprised. Let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.